Hey everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 Let's Play. This is episode 4. So, today's goal, well it's still day 2 in the game, but it's episode 4. So I'm trying to do an episode, uh, two episodes uh, per, per day in game. So, in the second half of this day, and it's, it is 15.19 at the moment, so 3.19 3 in the afternoon, we don't have much time left. So the goal is to get a start on chickens. We do want to start getting chickens. So stay tuned, and that's what we're aiming to do. So what we're going to do today is get chickens. So first things first, what I need to do, who is that at Marvin's house? There's always someone weird at Marvin's house. I'll never understand. He's, he's running some kind of strange operation in there, I just know it. So we need to get a move on this day. We don't have a lot of time. I do want to go and explore down there because people seem to always be walking down there. So what we need to do is get uh, animals. Oh, packs. You know what? I've never even noticed this until now. Transport your pallets. So animals. So we've got packs, right, like packages all the things you kind of need together, that's pretty handy. What I do need is, I need, how did I do this last time? It was in construction, wasn't it? There we go, I found it. Okay, so, animals, chickens, Okay, so we will start with a little chicken um, pasture. Gee, where are we going to put it? Is it better to put them on grass or... I uh, really didn't think this through. Up here would be nice. But there's just no... There's just no room. I don't want to take that tree down either. It's it's a nice tree. Okay, so I did decide on this little parcel of grass just here. It seemed like really the only spot to put it without blocking off access to too many other things. I did not realise that was going to happen. Oh, uh, that's not good. I'm going to have to flip that around somehow. So, that's where it's going to go. <clears throat> Select... How much did it cost? There was six six thousand. Oh, you can't edit it. Oh, that's really really frustrating. We're gonna have to take a loss on this one. I can't. I can't. Um. Oh no. That is not good. This chicken business is already off to a bad start. So we've done ourselves out of some money there and the field is a little bit hurt by it. I'm sure we can fix that. Anywho, so this is where the chickens are going to go. Uh, 
animal dialogue, so you can actually purchase them here, which is pretty cool. So you can get little baby chickens. Transport fee, I wonder how much the transport fee is. Uh, we'll soon find out. Um, so, let's say we get, maybe we'll just start with 20, ah, awesome, how cool is that, and I'm assuming this is where we feed them, I think we'll need some kind of seed. It might be wheat. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. Can't believe I put off the animal side of uh, farming for so long. That was quite straightforward. What I will need to do, though, is purchase feed. Okay, animals. Uh, fresh wheat to feed the chickens, yeah, so it is wheat that I need. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to get the feed onto uh, a trailer I have. Okay, so we've got chicken feed. What we'll do is... Let's say it's at the animal shop. Grab this trailer. I'm sure we're going to need a forklift or something. To... Uh, to get the uh, feed on the trailer, but there's only one way to find out. We shall look. Because I don't think my... I don't think I'm strong enough to uh, lift the big bag on its own. It's 1,400 litres, so... It's probably very heavy. Anyway, we shall find out. I have no idea how I... Oh, I had hazard lights on, I'm not sure how I even turned them off. On, sorry. I'm still working on these uh, camera pauses and things. I'm trying to get a little bit more savvy with uh, the recording software to make the videos a little bit uh, better in quality might take some time but uh, repetition is always the key okay and would you look at that the animal shop does not have the feed so it must be at the regular shop why didn't I think of that I'll see you there in a moment so I decided to stop by the house and switch it over to the Ford uh, the tractor was just a little bit too slow so as I figured I can't uh, lift the chicken feed manually onto the trailer and I just remembered I had this uh, I think it's herbicide um, which has been here for a day or so I'm gonna have to uh, get maybe a forklift uh, <laughs> I might be wrong I'm probably wrong but uh, or a front loader no I think a forklift would be good I think, I'm not sure if I should purchase it or lease it, I am not too sure, I might just, uh, what's this one, wow this one's a handy little, 
It's like a stand in. Oh, you sit in it. That looks kind of annoying to use. Uh, I think I will purchase one. Uh, that's something I think we will need more than once. So, without further ado, we have got a forklift. What have I done? We're running very low on funds. Ah, this is great. Now I've just got to work out how to operate it properly. I did not get my forklift ticket. License. job. I wonder if I can get it into the ute tray. That is as high as it goes. So I do have an idea. Please don't tip over. I will uh, oh, not jump. I will get the trailer off and I'll back it up. Or should I Either way, I'll back it here. I'll unfold the tailgate. I might even just put this on the trailer, but I'll, I'll try and put the uh, herbicide uh, onto the back of the tra tray of the ute. Okay. Now we might you know what, we'll just get it on there for now. Okay. That can go on the trailer. And we will. Oh dear. <laughs> This is why you should get your forklift license before you uh, before you operate one. Let's tilt it back. It's a bad angle. Oh, I should put that down. We're talking. Put that. I think this forklift's been a really good investment already. So if I don't ruin it first, put this down. <laughs> Definitely put some weight into the back of the tray. The concern is, oh yeah, I can strap it there. Same as this one. I don't know if that strap's very secure. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see how we go. You know what I've just realised? I needed. How do I get the forklift home to unload them? Hmm. More money. More money. I'm going to need a trailer uh, to put the forklift on. It's never ending this farming business. A low loader can transport other vehicles. Would it be worth going straight to this one? I think it probably will be. Not for now, but you never know for later. Standard with side guards. Oh, you can't go wrong with. 
Side guards, wide. Yeah, side guards are good. Okay, we're really low on money now. And I'm not even sure that this truck will be able to tow. So we might even be looking at another car. Oh, would you look at that? It does. So we'll unfold it. We'll jump out. <clears throat> While we're at it, we might as well put that other herbicide on the... Uh... But now I've got to get that trailer back. Ah, oh, dilemmas. What we'll do is... I hope the chickens are hungry. That's all I can say. Let's see through the trees there. Okay. Tilt it back, lift it up. It's high enough. Okay, can we strap that down? We can! Okay, so now all we need to do is put the forklift on the back. We'll take it home. We'll leave it there with the big trailer. And why didn't I drive it up? I am not thinking very well today. Okay. Uh -huh. That strap hasn't done any. I'm not sure. The vehicle might just stay there. I'm going to hope that's what happens fold it up and we'll see what happens. We have got a loaded truck. Oh, it seems to be towing it without any issues. This truck is unstoppable. There's nothing it can't do. touch wood, I have not had any game crashes since the second episode. The only thing I can draw it down to is the uh, the um, mods. I've disabled a bunch of mods that I wasn't using, so hopefully that's all it is. And we are back at the farm. So what we'll do is we'll uh, detach that trailer. We'll keep that herbicide strapped on. We might as well since it's already there. No use wasting time. We'll drive back over to the shop. We'll pick up the... Uh, the uh, trailer with the chicken feed on it. We'll uh, give the chicken something to eat. I think we'll be working into the night time tonight. It is the end of September now. Canola is growing. Hopefully it's almost harvesting time. Okay, and away we go again. I really don't like that little trailer that much, but it's done its job. I must say, it's done its job. Alright.
Oops, oops. So I'm not sure how much feed they need. But I think if I just drive the car up to it, close enough to get the the forklift down. I'm not a thinker. I am not a thinker. Oh, geez, that was close. Just got the chickens in and the first thing... run into their uh, little pasture there. So getting this chicken feed. Okay, and we'll take it over here. Oh, there we go. So that's all you do, is you just take it there. So 750 litres, and I can just perhaps empty the rest into the silo. Yeah. Well, that's easy enough. Must have my hazard lights on or something. I'm not sure how I managed to do it. But what I need to do is take the straps off the herbicide that needs to go into the barn over there. Well, that's where I want to store it anyway. Got to fold the loader back up. Detach. Pop out. Jump back in the forklift. So we can pick up the herbicide and store it. Oop. I want to be careful not to poke a hole in it. Okay. Yeah, we can see a bit better now. We store it in this little nook here. Side over the back of the truck. Might be a little bit too high, yeah, it is. Bang. Okay, we'll go and put that in there. It goes a long way. It does go a long way, that herbicide. I wonder if it is stackable. It's probably not. I'm not going to try just now. You know what? 
I do want to get it a little bit more snug than that. go in here a little bit we'll just back it you know what that'll do it's kind of cheating isn't it might even leave the forklift indoors out of the weather not sure when we'll need that again I think we need to tidy up a little bit. It is getting dark. Fold the air. Eat up. And the next thing we'll do when it gets to nightfall. We're going to go investigate that little walkway down near Marvin's house. See a lot of people going in there and it's suspicious. Gonna fit, yep. This is a great trailer, I love it. So the trailer can stay right there. That's its new spot. I think I might go and put the Ford away and I'll just get the tractor out. That'll do for that. For tonight. all these lights going. I love the realism of this game where you can see the tyre tracks where they've been and it just makes it really realistic. So the chickens seem to be happy. Hopefully before too long we'll have eggs and we can sell them. This little trailer lives outside the front of the house. Just up here by the tree. Okay. tidy up this trailer here it's kind of just sitting in a weird position I think we bumped it the other day uh, how do we get to it we don't want to bump it again oh 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 We've left it in a pretty challenging position. We got it. I'll pop this one over here because we'll be needing this trailer the soonest. Oh, it's such a hard trailer to reverse. You know what, we might just leave it here with the tractor because next thing we're going to know is we're going to be harvesting the field over here, field 46. It's growing, 
It's good. It is becoming quite dark. So I think now is the time to almost... Not quite. But it's almost time. We'll just go for a little stroll along here. See if anyone's around Marvin's house. I know something suspicious is going on. Something weird is in the air. And I'll catch what he's up to, no matter what it is. Just walking around. I better make sure I'm not still leasing things. Yep, good, I own that. It's the weeder, isn't it? No, that's the cedar. I don't know anymore. I just don't know. Oh, no one around. No one at Marvin's house by the look of it. Uh, he does have lights on. There's someone home. But as soon as nightfall comes, we'll be going in inspecting. This lawn needs a mow as well. So maybe in the next episode we'll look at doing some mowing. Six thirty at night. It's almost time. We might just go into the barn and hide until nightfall comes. I had no idea we had down there. There's a door there. What is this? I found a dungeon. This would be great for wine. A wine cellar. What is this? Wow. Workshop. This is a nice place to be. Whoa. So I, I just glitched through the floor. Okay, well, it's nice to know I have a dungeon. Close the doors. Close the doors. And we're going to wait it out till it's dark to go and explore what's going on. Something's going on with Marvin. Something is going on. We can't go out that door, but we can look from this window. We can't see much. Over this way. Oh, wow. It goes up again. I can't believe I've never really explored the barn yet. There's a lot to see. Wow. It's a good spot to hide. Oh, this is a fantastic view. Okay, nightfall is here. We're shrouded by the darkness. I mean, unless we have a big torch, but we need the torch to see what's going on. Something isn't right about Marvin. And this is where people always come walking from. Stream. We'll find out what he's up to. It says it's owned by Clifford. They obviously don't know his name. It's Marvin. Marvin Powell. And he 
kids liming down on this field. Maybe he has a marijuana crop or something down here. Not sure. Just not sure. It's his backyard up there. What is this? Been making medieval weapons. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Marvin. Something's not right. Something is not right about Marvin. And I'm not sure what it is. But at some point I will find out. Oh, we better make our way back up to the farm anyway. I think it's time we say our good nights. Go to bed. And uh crack on with it tomorrow. It's the last day of September, so tomorrow is October. It'll be interesting to see how far the canola is, whether it's ready to harvest. I'm sure it's still maybe a month off, but we don't get into farming if you're not patient. Oh, crows? Yeah, so we will see. We will see. It's a fairly successful day though. We got our chickens in. 20 chickens. Health is 30%. That seems fairly low. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if there's something more I could be doing for them or whether that's just something that will go up over time. But anyway, we'll check on them in the morning. The 1st of October. Thank you for joining me, guys. We'll see you on the next episode when we look at mowing the lawn and checking on our crops maybe even putting some seeds in the ground for those other two fields which are currently fertilizing but we see you on the next episode thanks for watching